The first instrument I'm going to demonstrate is the C8 tensiometer. Now, one of the things that's very important as we're checking cable tension is to correctly identify which size of cable it is that we're testing. And this particular tensiometer gives us the ability to do that as well. This one is a little bit complicated because there's a lot of different things going on. And there is an instruction card right here which you are welcome to refer to. That's why it's inside this case here. Um, now, before we begin using the instrument, one of the things that's important is to check that it's reading accurately. And uh, we have this little bar that's right inside here. And you can say, see where it gives the serial number of the bar and that it's supposed to read 171 pounds. Reading the instructions here will tell you what size cable to uh, set this to in order to check it. Okay, so you can see right now that this handle is closed. There's a little pin here that will keep this handle latched. I'm going to squeeze in gently, and you could see that pin pop, and now it'll open. Okay, so now this, uh, and you can see these jaws here moving up and down as well. If I want to pin this again, I can simply pull it and gently depress it, and uh, there you go. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to set this in here. Okay. And I'm going to read what uh, this is supposed to say here. And uh, I'm not going to tell you what I'm seeing on this dial here. I'll let you, uh, let you determine if it is reading correctly or not. Okay, so now I want to find the cable size. And again, you can read the instructions on how to do this. But basically, I'm going to put this up here. I'll twist this dial over. And then I'll let this uh, slide down on here. Now, the other way of doing it would be to slide this uh, little window here all the way over attach the cable here and then move it over that way okay and as i read this here i can see that this particular cable is reading an eighth of an inch the next thing i need to do is i need to zero this out we just said that we were at an eighth of an inch so i need to find where is my eighth of an inch on here there it is so it's showing that little hash mark right there so i'm going to adjust this until that lines up Okay, so we got that right on the eighth of an inch. And notice also that I'm going to be reading on this second line down. Okay, so we're going to practice that in just a little bit. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here. I'm going to squeeze the handles and put the cable between the, uh, the little part that moves here and the, the thing that, read, that moves the needle down here. And as I release it, you can see that needle has moved. Now, I want to be able to take this off so I can look at it. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to move to this lock feature on off and I'm going to slide it gently to the on position. Now when I squeeze the handle, and I can actually pin it this time, there we go, this needle on the scale isn't going to move. So let's take a look and see what our reading is here. Okay, so as I'm looking at this reading here, I can see it's somewhere between 25 and 50. Now, I'm looking at this second row here. Okay, so we need to figure out, well, what are each of these hash marks? This 25 is obviously that right there. Um, and I can tell that that's 50 right there. So I, let's take a look here and see. I can see 25. I'm gonna, let's just guess that these large ones here are five. So 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50. Okay, so each of these heavier lines on this one here are five. That would mean each of the smaller ones in between are two and a half. So let's see where our needle is. Our needle is, there's the 25, there's the 30, and that's 32.5. So it looks like I'm right at about 31 or 31 and a half pounds. I'll let you see that again so you can, you can see that there. So I'd say that's right at about 31 and a half pounds of tension which is actually pretty close to what I've set it. So that's the C8 tensiometer. Um, and as you saw in the video, there's a couple of things to really watch out for. One is you have to make sure that you turn the dial correctly, because if you set that up wrong, your readings are all going to be off. And you will have to take it again, because the only way to set it is when the needle is at zero. The other thing is make sure you read the scale correctly and make sure that you're reading the correct scale. The other thing is that if you try to take a reading with the uh, scale locked, it's going to mess it up. 
So always take the readings with the scale in the off position. And then if you want to lock it, then you can slide it over to the on position. That's right now, it's, it's locked, you can see. So um, you could pick it up and it could look like this. Oh, it's all zeroed. Well, you come over to use it and nothing happens. Well, it's because the scale is locked. You switch that and you can see the scale jump. And then you can re-zero it as you saw. It looks a little bit complex, but that's because it can do several things all at once. So if you read through the instructions, you'll be able to understand that.